The title of this book is Be My Neighbor with Words of Wisdom from Fred Rogers. The two authors are Maya Ajmera and John D. Ivanko. What is a neighbor? Who are your neighbors? The people who live nearby. This book gives you true information and the photographs show real people. Do you think this book is fiction or nonfiction? That's right, it's nonfiction. This is a long book with lots of information about neighborhoods around the world. We'll be talking about it as I go through and read it to you. Be my neighbor. Words of wisdom from Fred Rogers. On our television program, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, I sing, Won't You Be My Neighbor? Neighbors are people who care about and help each other. Sometimes they live in the same real neighborhood, but they can also be neighbors even if they live far away. They might live in a different country where people talk differently or wear different clothes or eat different foods, but they can still be our neighbors. They can still be people we care about just because they're human beings. Every person in this world started out as a baby, needing food and diapers and a place to sleep, and most of all, love. In fact, every person started out just like you. As different as we are from one another, as unique as each one of us is, we are much more the same than we are different. That was written by Fred Rogers from Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. So as I read through this book with you, I want you to be thinking about ways that your neighborhood is similar to and ways that your neighborhood is different from the neighborhoods in this book. Your neighborhood is a special place. A neighborhood is where you live, learn, grow up, play, and work surrounded by your family and friends. Each and every neighborhood is a special place. Yours might be in the mountains, along a coast, or somewhere in between. It might have important historical sites such as a monument or the home of someone famous. This picture is from Papua New Guinea. This one is Oman, and this one is in Spain. It may be part of a village, town, or big city. Neighborhoods around the world can look very different. Some neighborhoods have lots and lots of people in them, while others have only a small population, such as those on a remote island, in the country, or high up in the hills. Some neighborhoods are made up of a few buildings in a town or village, while others stretch for miles and miles and are part of a big city. This photograph is from Canada. And this one is from the USA, where we live. This one is from South Africa. Every neighborhood is made up of lots of different people. Your neighborhood can be made up of people of all ages, interests, and backgrounds. 
Some members of your neighborhood may live like you and your family, and others may have different habits and customs that are celebrated in different kinds of festivals and community activities. The post office, town square, places of worship, and sports fields are places where people from your community come together. This is Mexico. This one is in Vietnam. And this one is in the United States. Lots of different homes. A house can be just for your family, or it can be an apartment in a large building where many families live next to one another. Houses can be made from different materials, such as wood, brick, glass, or even mud, grass, or rocks. In places where the weather is cold, houses are made to keep you warm. In warm climates, houses are built to keep you cool. No matter where you live, houses are for making you and your family comfortable, dry, and safe. This house is in the Philippines. Check that out. This one is in Japan. This one is in Mongolia. Do those houses look similar to yours or very different? This one is in Mali. This one is in a country called Turkey. And this one is in the Bahamas. Neighborhoods also have schools. There are many kinds of schools in your neighborhood. Some are large and some may be as small as just one room. Sometimes school is held in your house, like us. <laughs> schools are important because they help you learn and become more helpful to your community. Here's a picture of a class in Kenya. This one is in China. This one's in Brazil. And this one is in Cuba. Places to worship. This one is in Thailand. Iraq. Brunei. Do you know what the word worship refers to? Some people go to cathedrals or synagogues, mosques, churches, or other places to worship depending on their religion. Your neighborhood often has one or more places to worship depending on the religious beliefs of the people who live there. You might go with your family to a large cathedral, synagogue, or mosque. You may have friends who go to a temple or worship in their home. This is in Jamaica. And this one's in the United States. Places to play. That looks like a fun place to visit. That's in Mexico. <laughs> Parks, plazas, streets, and backyards are all places to play in a community. If your neighborhood is near a lake, a river, or an ocean, you and your friends might go swimming, fishing, or boating. Swimming pools, ice rinks, sports fields, and playgrounds are places especially made for having fun. Here's a playground in France. This is in Belize. This one is in the United States. Many neighborhoods have markets, restaurants, shopping malls, or grocery stores to buy what you and your family need. Some places are large with lots of different things for sale, while other stores are small, selling only specific items like bread or cheese. 
You can even create your own place to sell something homemade to others in your community. Places to buy the things you need. This is a market in Mexico. This is in France. And this one is in the United States. There are lots of ways to get around your neighborhood. For example, there's a school bus in the United States. This is in Costa Rica, boy is riding a bike. And this is in Thailand, looks like they're in a streetcar. Buses, cars, trains, boats, and big trucks are some ways that you can get from one place, one part of your neighborhood to another. For short distances, walking, biking, or skateboarding are also good ways to get around with your friends. By sharing rides or using public transportation, you meet other people who live in, work in, or visit your neighborhood. This is in Argentina. Look at that. This is in India. Neighborhoods have special events and big celebrations. Special events such as anniversaries, Block parties or local festivals let you join other people in your community to celebrate and to share in some fun and great food. Parades, cultural events, and national holidays are other big celebrations that bring a neighborhood together. This is in the United States. This is in Russia. This is in India. And this one is in Spain. In your neighborhood, you share responsibilities. What is a responsibility? What do you think that is? Look in the pictures. I notice in this picture, they are cleaning up a beach that's in the United States. In this picture, it looks like everybody is cleaning the floor. That's in Japan. And this one is also in the United States. The boy is walking the dog. People who live in the same neighborhood often work together to make it a better place. You might join your neighbors to clean up a river or work with a youth group to plant trees in a park. Neighbors look out for one another, perhaps helping someone find a lost dog or picking up fallen branches after a big storm. There are also people in your neighborhood whose job it is to take care of you. Doctors, police officers, firefighters, and mail carriers, for example. This is in Denmark. And this is in the United Kingdom. Help out your family and friends. Your family often counts on your help, perhaps with growing fruits and vegetables to sell at the market or taking care of the lawn when you are old enough, babysitting, feeding neighbors pets while they are out of town, or reading with an elderly person are neighborly ways of helping other people. This is in China and this one is in Somalia. India, Togo, United States. This is in France. Your neighborhood is where you feel at home. Neighbors have in common the place where they live. You celebrate your neighborhood because you're a part of it and it's a part of you. Your neighborhood is a place where you learn about cooperation, respect, and friendship. It's the place you call home. 
This is Guatemala, Romania, South Africa. Be my neighbor wherever you live. Here's a map of the world. Let me open it up so you can see the whole world. Wow. Here's the United States. This is where we live on the eastern part, right over here. Here's one last picture to show you. So what did you notice about the people in these neighborhoods? Did you notice things that look similar to things that you do in your neighborhood? Some things that were different? Thanks for listening.